So welcome back to the Impact Arena, our home for three consecutive weeks. And how wonderful to be here in Bangkok, in Thailand. Wonderful venue, wonderful badminton. And today, the first day of the Toyota Thailand Open. Well, our next match is women's singles, and it features two former champions. The two-time former winner, Rachana Kintanon, against the 2012 winner, Sina Nawal, in a repeat of the 2012 final. Nine years ago, these two players met in the final of the Thailand Open. Well, when we look at the women's singles draw, I can tell you this is the second quarter of the draw and what a section it is because we started the tournament with four players who had won the women's singles title here at the Thailand Open. Of course, uh, Carolina Marin last week, but next to each other, three players who've won. Not only the two we're about to watch, but Sung Ji Hyung was champion here in 2015. Also in this section, Pusala Venkata Sindhu, who was beaten in the final in 2018, and three-time beaten finalist, Busanang Ongbang Arangpan. They've already played, and as you can see, Pusala Venkata Sindhu, the reigning world champion, through to the second round. So five players in this quarter who have all contested a final here at the Thailand Open. That's extraordinary, isn't it, Orton? Certainly is. So here, the four-time finalist, two-time former champion, Rachanuk Intanon. One of four players in the draw, as I was saying, who have won a Thailand Open previously. Sina Nawal. When she won the title, beating her opponent of today, Rachanuk Intanon, nine years ago, won the final in an hour and five minutes in three excellent games. But we should remember, with Rachanuk Intanon only being 25 years of age now, so she will turn 26 next month, uh, when we talk about nine years ago, uh, then she was very young indeed. She was a 17-year-old when she first reached the final here. Now, as you can see, this is an 18th meeting between these two players. And Sina Nawal has the only overwhelming advantage, having won 12 of them. And what surprised me when I did the research for this earlier this morning was that Sina Nawal has won the last five encounters. And now, considering this lady, in the interim period has been a world champion. The last time they met was in the Asian Games. That was 2018. Quarter-final stage in Jakarta at those Asian Games. So obviously styles of play uh, maybe clash as far as these two are concerned, but Ratchnok Intanon, as I was telling you, 25 years of age, but she'll have a birthday next month. For the record, her two titles were won in 2013 and 17, beating Busanan Ongbangarangpan in both finals. Not only did she lose the final to her opponent of today, but she lost the final in 2019 to Chen Ufei. World Championship gold medalist in 2013 as an 18-year-old. Sina Nawal. 30 years of age now, currently 20 in the world ranking, but did spend a total of 14 weeks as world number one. Now, her first appearance here was when she was a 17-year-old, and she was Olympic bronze medalist in London in 2012, 
She's got two medals from World Championships, a silver in Jakarta in 2015, a bronze in Glasgow two years later. Last title she won was the Indonesian Masters of 2019 when competing in her second consecutive final. And that's perhaps a little misleading as we look at our court officials because in that final, that's when Carolina Marin uh, suffered that uh, catastrophic injury, rupturing her anterior cruciate ligament. And Carolina Marin was actually leading in that final 10-4 when she was forced to retire. So I know you were calling that match in Jakarta, weren't oh, you? I was. It was really, really bad to finish? watch. It was bad to watch. Not nice. No. Not nice. I think it's interesting uh, when you look at uh, Sina Naval because um, I think she has slipped uh, quite dramatically on that world ranking. From uh, She was actually number eight on the ranking in October 2019. And five months later, she's now down to number 20 when the ranking got frozen. Yeah. And that's quite a dramatic drop from a player that's in the top 10 to drop 12 points on the ranking. Yeah. But you see, in 2019, she had seven first round losses and two second round losses from her 15 tournaments played. Yeah, that, that cost. Yeah. Ready? Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Rajnot, Internot, Thailand. And on my left, Saina Newal, India. Emmanuel Herbert Saina Say Newal of Botswana, Lamor. our umpire for this. Play. Oh, what a start. Yeah, Good what, attack and clear. What a shot. One love. For Morton, going back to the head to heads, the last time that Ratchanuk Intanon actually beat her opponent of today was in the Uber Cup of 2016. Yeah. Five matches since, lost them all. Yeah. Well, I still oh. think a lot of has happened uh, mm. lately. Love. S for me, I think uh, it, it looks like that Sina Naval finds it hard to follow pace and uh, if you're losing your pace then of course you're very very much in trouble when it comes to playing singles just picking up on that point Morton I would say even more so when Love. you have a style of play of Sina Newell because she was and is such a fighter on she court, is. Is. relying on her speed of movement. Uh, I mean, she's happily admits herself she isn't the most naturally gifted badminton player, uh, technically, but she's worked so oh. hard Love. and she, at her prime, relied so heavily on her movement round court that if it drops by a tiny percentage, we're not talking much, but it will have a big impact on your game. Uh, on her game. If yeah. you can't then play winners yeah and here we saw a, a very fine example Five. of it it's a, it became a clear winner that uh, block shot from Ratchanok um, so I, th I think that was a quite good example of what we were talking about yeah. the trademark of first sign and able the attack I Six think over. very One. aggressive Five. in her style I think the other thing we've got to mention about Simon Awal is her consistency. Because eight consecutive world championships, she was a quarter finalist or better. Yeah. At least a quarter final or better at eight consecutive All England championships. Two. It's amazing, five. isn't it? That's consistency for you. Yeah. Add to that, Commonwealth Games gold medals in the women's singles, eight years apart. Winning major titles. Going back to 
2009. Three, five. Indonesian Open was her first Super Series. Yeah, she won three of them in Indonesia. Three Indonesian Opens she's won. From four finals. Yeah. Which suggests that four, she copes very well five. with windy conditions. Yeah, it's not easy to planes in the Storo Sinayan in Jakarta. That's quite windy conditions. Mm. Oh, <laughs> good smash. Very good smash. Yeah. Service over. Six, four. But Morton, going back to your point about now the inconsistency of Sina Nawal. The last time she was in a semi-final or better, you have to go back to January 2019. Yes. And I know that oh. we had very few tournaments last year, Seven, but that is two four. years she's been looking for a semi-final or better. That's some considerable time. Yeah, and, but I think you pointed it out saying uh, first and second round losses uh, it's really making an impact. Yeah. Oh. Eight, four. Just slightly late. It was a lovely shot from Ratchnup though, wasn't it? Just we talked about it before guiding shuttles rather than uh, looking as if she's hitting shots. It looks as if she's just guiding it. Well, maybe that was with Steen I was talking about. Yeah, it was with Steen, but yeah. I, I completely uh, Five, concur and understand eight. what you're saying. Done it. Six, eight. Uh, good play. Solid play from Sina Nero. Eight. Good block shot of the net setting up. The last lift for good attack. The body attack. As we can see, the lift was really short. Adding on the pressure and power. So Morton, obviously Nine, with this head-to-head -head record, Sina Nawal having won 12 of the previous 17 meetings, I alluded to the fact that there must be something in the styles of play that suits uh, Sina Nawal and Ratchanuk doesn't like. I think um, Ratchanuk doesn't like that someone is, you know, biting her heels the whole time. Ten, someone seven. who's really just making it really difficult and physical against her. And that's what Sign and Abel has been able to do for years, in making this into a physical battle. And um, we also saw uh, oh. last week when uh, Intanon was playing Young Se Young from uh, Korea, the young Korean players coming up. And we see that uh, as soon as uh, a lot of uh, shots are coming back, uh, Intanon becomes a little bit insecure possibly losing her patience yeah good point but she has a nice little lead four point advantage for the number four seed seven minutes into the match <laughs> Sina's husband, Harupali Kashyap, 
There he is on the coach's bench. 11 7. Play. Oh my goodness, that's tricky. Yeah, good retrieving as always from Sine and Awell. Yeah, well covered, but she knows it's one of uh, Intenon's favourite shots, that cross-court smash. It's not the first one that's coming here. And she knows it's one of her favourite shots and covered that one well. Good disguise, a little hole in the block, 12, very effective. Eight. And Morton, just for the record, Parupali Kashap retired after just three rallies, I guess, or Rasmus Gemka in his first round match. Do you know what the injury problem is? Um, not really, but he, he also pulled out last week, as did. I remember. Yes, he did. Eight. Um, In a third game throw last week. Yes. Uh, it was a it was a tough week for Indian players last week. Mm. Uh, when you oh. consider that uh, Sign and Abel was uh, sidelined the first day due yeah. to a positive test, and then uh, was reinstated the following day, uh, as it seemed to be a mistake. Well. Steen was uh, telling me that uh, the science behind it is is that if you've had COVID-19 and recovered with these tests that they're giving us, you can actually test positive for another eight to ten Nine. weeks. Yes, that's so correct. So it was a false positive. Yes. Yeah. So she was reinstated, but I'm, I'm yeah. sure it it upset the whole rhythm and yes, and preparation for the for the tournament yeah. and. Uh, there's lots of pressure on that uh, Indian team uh, last week, I think, and hopefully they will find their ways. Because I'm also thinking about uh, Shrikankadambi, yeah. who then pulled uh, a small muscle in his calf, and uh, mm. so and cash up having problems. So it was a bit of a tricky week. Yeah. Yeah. Good point. Beautiful net play from Ratchanuk. Service over 15 10. Service over 11, 15. That's out, yeah. These are two Ashton players Morton, that, oh, she's yeah. not going to win that, that's no. definitely wide. These two players, both extremely good at a very, very young age, Intanon first played here as a 13-year-old. <laughs> yeah, can you believe it? Yeah, and in fact she won the World Junior successful. Championships first of all as a 13-year-old, didn't One she? Challenge remaining. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. And the first time I 12, saw Sina Nawal was in 2006 Please. as a 14 year old playing in the Commonwealth G Games in Melbourne, Australia. Yeah. Oh. Good well to get that back, Sina Nawal. 
And given her style of play, given how long she's been playing at the top level, Sina Nawal, I think it's remarkable that she's still a very good international player. I mean, for an awful lot of players, you think of some of the Chinese players, very few last into their 30s. That's true. Amount of training and especially for But players. she's very dedicated. Absolutely. She's very de dedicated. I, I know that for a fact. Thanks, Uba. 16, 13. Yeah. That is superb play Service from Sina and Awell. Absolutely brilliant. 16. Good attack, isn't it? Beautiful follow-up. They were not able to get that one away. This one here, just able to block it. And uh, Ratchanok knew the pressure was enough. Good follow-up. So in, in my humble opinion, uh, over the years, I've seen Sign and Abel play so many times, and I think her weakest part of the game is the forehand at the front and if you look at how Intanon is playing she is really trying to exploit that she's playing a lot of shots to that particular position and then either set up for good attack or even outright winners Service over 15, 17. Now, good follow up again. Ah! Set up by Service a good over. smash. 18, Threaded 15. it down the line. Look at that. It's the only thing that Sina Nawal could do was a straight block. <laughs> Classic Sina Nawal. Moving opponents. 18. Forehand, then deep backhand, then down to the forehand once again. Make her move the full diagonal of the court. How many times have we seen Sina and A will do that? Service over, 19, 16. Service over 17, 19.
Oh yes, that's perfection ah! on the return of serve. Over 20, so game, game point, point opportunities 17. for Rachenok into the home. Once again, oh. pressure on that okay. forehand at the front of the court. First game won by Rachenok in turn on 21-17. Yeah, gets the error from it. And yeah, played with disguise too. So the opening game, 21-17. แล้วลูกมันก็ไปหาเขาถูกมั้ยเขาก็ให้หนูวิ่งเขาก็ให้หนูแบบว่าตีดักเขาเขาก็ค่อยๆไม่วิ่งเฉยแต่ว่าลู
but had she cho chosen to come we we all know it, that the Denmark Open was not the strongest of tournaments yeah which means that she could have in all likeliness uh, got a oh. lot of points yeah when the ranking is getting oh. unfrozen Fight. after these three events having that Denmark Open in to her ranking could have maybe improved her ranking quite a lot and perhaps giving her some seeding positions yes yeah. and that would have given her a better chance to achieve the target of qualification for the Olympics yeah I know it's quite Thanks technical. So well, it, it's not really, because here's a, a perfect scenario. Uh, Sina Nawal is playing against number four seed first round. Yeah. So if she got her ranking up and she was playing maybe some of the Super 300 events, which are going to happen and count as Olympic qualifying tournaments, we hope it's, that's what's planned. Yeah. If she'd been seeded, then, of course, it's much easier to to maintain your yes. your high standards yeah no oh, i think that's a very very good point morton one two three let single mark tauljo from netherlands oh that's a good one wow yes. that's a good one yeah. versus Nile perfect. Nine. Four straight four. points for the number four seed. And this is worrying times if you're a Sina Nawal fan. An awful lot of pressure Four. is mounting. Um, really well played from from Ratchanok, I think. The way that she's pinning Nabel to to the back of the the court, and then uh, of course opening up at the front with the last shot. But three clears into the deep forehand corner. Yeah, good shot. Yeah. And very important to stop Six that run of points at five. five ten. So to the mid-game interval, Give a six point advantage. As we were saying earlier, Morton, that very, very slight drop in pace of movement from Sign and Angle oh, is making a big, big difference oh, to her game. Yeah, she's depending upon it. <laughs> I'm going to give you my Thai translation there. Okay, thanks. Don Trishkot <laughs> wants uh, Ratchanuk to hit with more deception with punchy shots yeah. rather than big heavy shots. I think you're so right. And... Uh, Again, if if last week is anything to go by, she's playing the slightly yeah, slower end of the court, yeah. which means she can punch them quite yeah. well. Two. 
12, 5. Seven of the last eight points. I think initially Ratchnook was going to leave that. She seemed right. to leave it awfully late to play her shot. She's challenging that. She won't win that challenge. I saw that as clearly long. Yeah, I agree with you. It's definitely long. Yep, as confirmed by Hawkeye. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. 13 6. Play. What a beauty that was. That skimmed the net, you know. 14, 6. Watch this. Wow, look at that. That's perfection. Oh. 15. Six. Ten of the last twelve points from five four to fifteen six. Oh Seven Silver Seven Fifteen. That's wide. Service over sixteen seven. Yeah. It's all one way traffic now. Seven. What what's happened? Has Sina's pace dropped even more, Morton, or what's happened? Yeah, and I, I think that uh, Interlon is, is much more comfortable playing uh, longer rallies here, playing slightly against the drift yeah. and putting lots of pressure on the back, which means that she's getting Sina out of position before the cross shots are coming. And um, it's, it's a tall order now for, for Sina Naval. And uh, I also think she's getting a little bit disheartened. Mm. Well, service error isn't helping. Eight one service error of peace. Oh. Another one goes long. Two points away from a place in the second round eight. for Ratchnock Intonon. One oh. point away. Twenty match points. Whole eight. host of match point opportunities for the two-time former champion over the one-time former champion. And that's Just out. Gone wide. So Game. that's it. 21-17, 21-8. Met one by Rational. Sign and Awal, sadly, did really rather eight. fizzle out in that second game. 32 minutes. And Ratchnook Intonon gets her first win over Sina Nawal in six matches. First win since the Uber Cup of 2016. Oh. 
So, Krajinuk Intanon safely through. 21-17, 21 17, 21 8. So welcome back to the Impact 